Hello and welcome back to Fitness Corridor. This video is how to get your back back in order. In this video, I have focused on the lumbar portion of the spine, that is the lower back area. Now, those of you who have lower back pain and even those who don't should try all these asanas because they will help you in getting a real strong back. This sequence is short and simple, so don't just watch, but do along with me, because it has great benefits. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Let's start the sequence by doing downward facing dog, Adhumukha Shwanasan, pedaling. Pressing the right and the left left heel down, warming up the lower back, the hamstrings, the calves. Inhaling deeply. Now place the knees down. See that your joints are stacked. Your shoulder, elbow, wrist in one line, hip and knee in one line. Now take your left leg across your right leg. Lift your left hand up. And take a nice stretch, opening the armpit towards the sky or towards the ceiling. Doing this the other side, placing the right leg across the left and opening the right armpit now, breathing deeply. This is a great stretch for the sides of the lower back. It really stretches both the sides. I don't mind repeating this one. Let's do this one more time. Inhaling and holding the stretch for a few seconds, and then repeating the other side. Continue to breathe deeply, warming up the entire spine and stretching it. Now bring the right leg in between your hands, and then take both your hands up, interlock them, inhaling into Anjaneyasan. Keep the base strong. That is, your left leg is nicely grounded. Hands can be on the hips also. This pose is great for the lower back. It makes the muscles of your glutes and the quadriceps, that is the supporting muscles for your back, really strong. It improves your posture, gives you a strong and a flexible back. Doing this with the left leg in front, breathing deeply into the pose. Now placing the knees down, relax into the child's pose stretch. This is a great stretch for the lower spine. You can rest your head on a cushion or even place the rolled towel under your ankle if required. Focus on relaxing the spine and breathing deeply. This pose helps you to breathe fully in the back of the spine. Imagine your spine lengthening and widening with every inhalation. As you exhale, ground more and relax deeply. Now lie down, placing your abdomen on the mat, and cup your chin with your hands. Relax in crocodile pose, Makarasan. Hope you are enjoying the sequence. From Makarasan, we will move to Bhujangasan, placing the hands by the side, just underneath your shoulders, inhaling and coming up only till the navel. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Bhujangasan releases stiffness in any area of your lower back.
Now lie down prone, abdomen on the mat, make a pillow with your hands, placing your head on it and then slide your left knee towards your left elbow, keeping the right leg straight. Relax your lower back, your hips and breathe along your spine. Try to bring the knee closer and closer to the elbow. Do this on the other side. This pose helps you to relax your spine completely. After doing this pose, your spine is going to thank you. Now move back into the child's pose stretch. This time, space out your knees and try to bring your chest and chin onto the mat into a wide leg child's pose, Prasarita Balasana which gives a great stretch to the hip muscles, the quadriceps, the calves and the entire back. The spine is lengthened in this pose. Coming up, bring your legs forward and go for the forward fold. Placing the left foot 90 degree to your right, the right leg is straight Inhaling hands up, exhaling into Janu Shirsasan, holding the big toe. If you can't hold the big toe, hold the ankle. The knee can be kept straight or bent as per your comfort. Then place the left sole down, keep the left leg standing Bring the right armpit across the left knee, placing the left hand back, looking over the left shoulder into a spinal twist. You can even wrap your hands around the knee and stay in this pose. Let's do the full sequence on the other side, folding forward first, breathing at the final position, then exhaling coming up, placing the sole down and doing the twist bringing the armpit across and looking behind. The spinal twist is great for the lower part of the spine. It gives flexibility and keeps it supple. Keep the legs outstretched, separating them and taking your right hand up, hold your left big toe or your ankle and take your left hand back at 45 degree angle. See if you can gaze at the fingers behind. Doing this the other side with your left hand holding your right big toe taking your right hand back. This is the dynamic spinal twist Gatyatmak Meru Vakrasan. This twist really opens your spine. Repeat this one more time both the sides, trying to breathe through your spine while you are doing it. Now bring the soles of the feet together, interlace the fingers, holding the feet and flap the knees and thighs up and down as per your flexibility. The butterfly pose, the hip, the inner thigh, the pelvic area muscles are relaxing and easing the pressure on the lower back. Now move the feet forward, slide the hands through the legs, interlock your fingers and drop your head down into tortoise pose. The inner thighs and knees are going down. Lower back is relaxing. Release the pose and lie down on the back 
prepare for supta pada angushtasan keeping your right leg folded lift the left leg up and bring the forehead to the left knee then hold the left big toe or the left ankle inhaling bring the left leg to your left side straightening the right leg if the right hip is coming up with the hand you can press the hip down coming back to center now bring the left leg to your right looking at the opposite side supta pada angushtasan will stretch the entire back portion of the legs the inner thighs and the lower spine by bringing fresh blood to the hips and the groin area it will improve the spine flexibility don't forget to repeat the entire sequence with the other leg as you practice slowly you will see the spine flexibility improving now let us practice supported bridge pose with the help of our hands lifting our hip and the lower back area placing the hands underneath keeping the legs strong practice the bridge pose make a mental picture of a bridge over calm waters holding the pose as you breathe supported bridge or bridge pose will relieve the tension and fatigue in your lower back area as you grow stronger you can practice the bridge pose without any support hold there for a few breaths release and follow it with a reverse stretch pavan muktasan pulling your knees to your chest and forehead to your knees now we are almost to the end of our routine let's do the happy baby pose bend the legs to the chest at 90 degree and face the soles towards the ceiling hold the insides of your feet spread your knees let the pelvic area open breathe hold the pose for a few breaths and then rock rock back and forth massage your spine and then release lie down taking deep breaths you've done a great practice relax in shavasan besides this practice you need to spend more time in the sun for your lower back stay hydrated it is good for your spine do regular oil massages and help in improving circulation in that area always wear comfortable and supportive footwear don't rush a relaxed attitude and consistency in practice will help your back greatly to get relief from lower back pain i would advise you to do the sequence at least thrice a week after doing it do give your feedback in the comment section below also those who have chronic back pain you are advised to consult your doctor before doing any practice so don't forget to like share and comment on this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so and press on the bell icon to receive notifications each time i post a new video stay inspired stay fit stay safe see you again soon Namaste